in the book of Malachi chapter number 3 where we were last Sunday uh, where we were last Sunday because I want people to be blessed uh, verse number 12 kifika to 12 nisomee tu this gadget is misbehaving. Say amen. Talk in the same manner. Malachi chapter 3, verse 12. Yes. And all nations will call you blessed. And all nations shall call you blessed. For you will be a delightful land. For you will be a delightful land. Says the Lord of hosts. Says the Lord of hosts. Continue. The people complain harshly. Your words have been harsh against me, says the Lord. Yes. Yet you say, What have we spoken against you? To Simami and Tuapo. We were talking about giving our tithe and our offerings faithfully and not just giving, but giving what you are supposed to give by the scriptures. The Bible says, bring the full, not half, not a quarter. Bring the full offerings, or rather bring the full tithe and offering in my house. So that there shall be food in my house. So that my house should be full of food. And the Bible says, test me in this. And see whether I'm not going to bless you until you lack room enough to keep. You only go and see verse number 10. See what I'm capable of doing to you after you do your part. Hallelujah. The reason why the church today is suffering is because we have not known what we are supposed to do. As far as giving is concerned, we don't know. All we know, but we ignore what we are supposed to do. Say my man. Say my man. Can I talk about offering a bit? Go to the same book, Malachi chapter number one. Verse number six. Malachi chapter number one, verse number six. The Bible says, What does it say? A son honors his father. A son honors his father. And a, a servant his master. And a servant his master. If then I am the father. If then I am a father. Where is my honor? Where is my honor? Do you know how you express honor to God? You express honor to God by how you present your gifts unto the Lord. The way you honor somebody is the way you appear to that somebody. If you dishonor me, you shall give me what is not worthy. But if you honor me, there are things you cannot give unto me. There is something that you see, this doesn't qualify my man of God. This is so small to be given to my, to my pastor and to my man of God. I cannot give this to my man of God. Why? Because you honor, you honor me. There are things you cannot give to a person that you honor. Praise be to the name of the Lord. There is a way you dress to appear before a man that you honor. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Especially now, because when they come home, it was a house. Some of us will go and change. Ah, say my name. Thank you, your neighbor, Mulisa, and I see that was in you. Oh, my goodness. Some of us, why? Because there is a way you want to appear before the president. 
Why? Because you honor the presence. You respect the presence. You respect the presence. You respect the you respect the presidency. You respect the office of the president. So you, are, you want to appear in a way you shall attract all the men and women working in state house. Say my man. Say my man. Shout amen. amen. But how do you trace as you come to God? It's more honorable than the president himself. If you can go and change, so you can go and change. You can never change. Say, Amen. 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 When the master called the servant, the servant said, Yes, says, Yes, sir, I'm here. When a father called a son, the son says, Yes, Papa, I'm here. Why? Because the son is honoring the father, or the servant is honoring who? The master. The master says, Yes, Papa, yes, Papa. What are you saying? Yes, mama. What are you saying? Because of the honor. The honor. The Bible says, if I be your father, where is my honor? God is asking us a question. A question is asking, if I be your father, where is my honor? Where is my honor? It means that we have dishonored God. We have dishonored him. That's why he's asking for his honor. That's why he's reminding you that you are supposed to honor him. Oh God, am I speaking to somebody? God is trying to remind us that we are supposed to do what? To honor him. If I be your father, because God is our father in heaven. There is a way you cannot visit your own place right now. Some of us who can say, I don't want to 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 do some shopping because some of us to want to say, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, so you shall do some shopping to go and please your mother, to please your father, so that your father may be happy that my son has come. You won't go empty handed. You will go carrying something precious, precious to your father, to your mother. Oh God, tell me, Mr. Joseph. If then I am the father, if then I am the father, where is my honor? Where is my honor? And if I am a master, and if I am a master, where? if I am a father to you, where is my honor? And if I am a master to you, I also command honor. Where is my honor? Yeah? To you, priests who despise my name. Yes. Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? What way have we despised your name? You offer divine food on my altar. Listen, how we dishonor God? It is by placing what? Divine food on the Divine food. When any time you visit this altar, you are feeding God. Oh my God. Tantu ya liba, aski ya liba, mungu wa meshiba, chakula ya liba, mungu Smile a little bit, touch a kufura bana. But is it your baby Shiva? Like, like when I'm in Uli, I'm going to donate to you. I'll be a dear Jehovah. Kula ndoa na bili we. Ndoa na bili bimbaro. Lava kongeze ya ile mala ya rati. Zimetoisha. Para yes as if you. You bring what? Divine food at my altar. So anytime you visit this altar, you are coming to feed 
in your maker. You are bringing some food to your maker. That's why the Bible has told us, bring the food tithe and offering in my house so that there may be plenty of food offering. So anytime you bring your sacrifice, you are feeding God. You are giving, you're not giving to a man, you are giving unto God. And in this God, the Bible says, does he, does he get happy after you lay down your sacrifice? Because some sacrifices are mockery. Oh God. And you are too lazy to say, my man, I am encouraging myself in the Lord. You cannot discourage me. I will encourage myself. Even David encouraged himself in the Lord. Say my amen. amen. Some offerings are mockery. How do you leave some thousands of shillings in your bank account or in your investor account and you come and give the Lord only 50 bob, only 20 bob, only 30 bob? That is mockery. That is mockery. That is mockery. And we expect. Oh God bless us, bless us. If I give you a prayer item, nobody knows the car and the rack. Uta kanya kaje tani, rika dada. Bless me, Lord. Oh Lord, bless me. But before you pray such a prayer, have you done what you are supposed to do? Do your part to remind the Lord that you've done your part, and tell the Lord what I'm expecting you to do is your part because I'm finished my part. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Uh, you bring divided food. Eh? Continue. On my altar. On my altar. But say. But say. In what way have we defied you? In what way have we defied you? By saying. By saying. The table of the Lord is contemptible. The table of the Lord is contemptible. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice. When you offer the blind. Some of us, what you we bring on the altar is another in a match. And you expect <laughs> Jehovah. Jehovah, when you match, I to believe she does have an outside here. Now, when I offer Sadaka in a match. If you want the Lord to look upon you, offer something which has got eyes. No wonder nothing is happening in the church today. No wonder the church is bowing down to men. Those are not supposed to be bowed to. Those are supposed to come in the church and bow. Yet we are bowing to them. They don't know our God. But we are bowing to them. They who do not know our God. Those who mock our God. It's like they are asking, where is your God? But the reason is why the church is the way it is to be it's because we are not doing what we are supposed to be doing. The moment we shall offer the way we are supposed to offer, things will happen in our families, in our business, in wherever we are working, in ways we cannot imagine. Say my man. Say my man. So when you offer a plant offering, do you think the Lord is pleased? What do I mean by saying a plant offering? When you offer the fifty bob and the remaining is thousands of money, is the Lord pleased with your fifty bob, your hundred? When you left thousands and millions of money in your bank account, that is a plant offering. It cannot help. It cannot open doors for you. It cannot open. Cannot open the floodgates for you. It cannot open the windows of heaven for you. So, what are you expected to do? Offer an offering which has got eyes. Eyes. It's not a you na macho. It's a letter that is meant to be a macho. Tadi <laughs> 
Ama muulize tu does your offering abides. Ama muulize every sacrifice that you bring on the altar does it abides. Ama muulize sadaka sio tu say to us kuna macho. Na pena mnaponyamaza. Maana najua na hudumia mioyo. Hallelujah. Continue with the Joseph to finish this thing. When you offer the blood as a sacrifice, when you offer the blood as a sacrifice, is it not evil? Is it not evil? And when you offer the lamb and sick, when you offer the lamb and the sick, some offerings are laid. As in a bigu, zikin as in a mukoro, zikin as in a macho, they are laid, and they are still what? Is it sick? Let me lay as in a mocheka. Sisi ni lay na sitengocheka tunabeba hata kingine akatembea unakapiga au unakapiga teke utatembea utafika mabambao lazima leo ni kuoffe lazima leo kwa offering sema amen so when you offer the lay and also the sick am i please hata unaleta tuto yenye shughuli oh my god Lisa dinani wewe umeelewa Isa na kangojwa na Isa na kama ni ni lei nikiwete aje umeelewa when you bring the lay and the sick sick to do to go to yani inamaanisha ni tule hatuna maana kwako Melewa. Ni unajua kama una offer ya Jerusalem kwako imekushia kwako ni mzingo so you need to take it out, out of your zizi kwa zizi yako unataka uondoe hiyo labda inaweza shikisha wale wengine huo mgonjwa unataka uondoe hiyo shida kwa zizi yako so it has no what it means to you it is unworthy And those which are unworthy to you are the things which you bring unto the Lord, and you expect the Lord to be happy. No, never. Tell your neighbor, never, never, never. So, zilizo gochwa, zilizo lema, ni vitu ambazo azina udamana kuako. So ambazo azina udamana kuako, basi unazibeba unazipelekea jehova unasema Lord is us this the what is asking us when you do that do you expect the lord to be happy do you expect him afrai sema oh my son oh my daughter has brought a sick and a lame sacrifice a sick and lame god is never happy god is never na kuchokoza nataka usikie uchungu nataka hiyo kitu kuingie that there are sacrifices that cannot take to the Lord there are things i cannot offer in that order there are things i cannot give unto the Lord say my man bwana yesu asifiwe me i am not working for anybody but there are sacrifices i cannot leave here i will work day and night before sunday ni kwa hiyo Today later then better all you are employed you are expecting salary at the end of the month you are guaranteed of salary I have no guarantee that is that I am going to receive something from somewhere we move to our we live by faith you live by salary say my man wow i like it continue is that just Offer it then to your governor. Offer. Then but the Bible inatuambia sasa chukua hiyo ambayo ni ngochwa, ambayo ni leni, take it to Johnson Sakaja. Take it now to your governor. Eh? Will he be pleased with you? Will be he be pleased with you? Yaani umekamata kale kambuzi ambao kana kanaara. Do you know why? Alafu kwa na huku midomo kana kaa kama kame kame kuliwa mdomo ani kwa kona ma kwa kona sam ibere sema ime na kana tu amakamasi alafu wao ni unakamata tu ni peleke 
wewe kama na sasa ndio hizo hizo kaji unajua ni friend yangu acha nipelekee kama na unatakamata vizuri unaona kaleta unamwambia oh Mr. Governor oh hayapamu kama nzi the sacrifice that brought you then anatokea naona na kitu anashindwa kusimama anasimama lakini kanatetemeka kanatetemeka mpaka kana kanaanguka chini we need you please you are so like about to know this to do a governor even know the president governor or even not a governor ni mkubwa pelekea you are mcr we need you please na kama awezi pendezo why do you expect god to be happy wewe unatarajia Mungu afurahie ambazo ni zimelema ambazo hazina macho ambazo zimengocheka do you expect the lord to be happy about this say the answer is no even if you don't act, you won't answer i'm going to answer you have the answer is there is no he's never pleased he's never he's never continue with the joseph Will he accept you favorably? Will he is kila will he accept you favorably? We have we talked about God's favor. So he's asking will the governor accept you favorably? Will he show you mercy? Will he show you kindness? Will he respond back happily? Yeah. Say the Lord say the Lord, Lord of hosts. Mm-hmm. But now entreat God's favor. But now entreat God's entreat favor. God's favor that he may be gracious to us. But he may be gracious to us. Start from today change the way you give your offering and see what the Lord is capable of doing. Say my man change the way you plan change the way you come in this altar and see what your father is capable of doing because he can bless one man that can be a blessing to the whole ministry but any project which arises to one man can say pastor forget about it why because the law has opened the flag gate of heaven because of his giving he is happy about the same man and he can give anything because of the same man he can release anything he can open the heavens because of the same man may you be that man in Jesus mighty name na sema may you be that man in Jesus mighty name may the lord open heavens and may the lord pour blessings upon your life until you lack room enough to keep in Jesus mighty name may you receive the heart to give what is worthy to be given to the lord in Jesus name hallelujah hey, can i show you uh uh something open open in the book of psalms 1 to i'm about to finish i'm about to finish today you wonder what, who is this man preaching to you because you can spend only 30 minutes to finish Open in the book of Psalms 126. I just want to show you some things. Then I finish. Psalms 126, verse number five. Them who go, doing what? Those who sow in tears. Them who sow in tears. The person who is coming to sow in tears is not giving something which is not worthy to be given. It is something so precious to that man. That's why he is crying as he gives. Say my man. Mwenye anatoa machozi analeta. Naona tu yule mama mchana ambaye alikuwa na shilingi mbili. Mwenye alikuja kwa mama Paul sio kama wengine wenye walikuwa wanakuja. I believe the same mother was crying because she was giving everything that she had. It was so precious to her the, the two shillings were so precious to her that I know she was coming shedding tears it is like the, ma- the woman who was I think the sh- this Shunamite woman uh, the woman who was uh, who was feeding Eli- Elijah with the remaining little flour and the remaining little oil so I believe she was not giving as she smiled 
Mata Taya Rabba. She was not smiling as she was giving. She was weeping as she was giving because she said, It is all little oil remaining and little flour that I may cook with my son and with that. So, how do you expect a person who is going to die the next minute cook for you and give to you as he or she smiles and you are eating only what he has? Mark her tired, brother. She wasn't smiling. She wasn't happy about it. She was giving in tears. She was giving and she was shedding tears. She was asking herself, what next? After I give whatever I am having. It is only dying. Dying is the only next option. Dying. It is dying. The next option is death. I see death. Nothing else after this. But she gave. Tell your neighbor she gave. Tell your neighbor she gave. Then who goes to saw shedding tears of? Shedding tears. Eh? Shall reap in joy. Shall reap in joy. The tears are not the tears of joy that she goes to plant shedding. Ni majozi ya utumu. Baada ya kutoa hii itakuwa namna gani? Baada ya kutoa hii watoto watasoma namna gani? Baada ya kutoa hii tutaenda kula nini jioni? Baada ya kutoa hii mimi nitatupi fedha itatoka wapi ya kwenda kazini? Baada ya kutoa hii is somebody who has no abundance. Is somebody who is planning although she is she's not having too much but she goes to plan expecting in future she shall harvest. We don't plan at the comfort at our comfort zones. We plan while shedding tears. But the outcome of the planning shall be tears of joy as you harvest. I see people harvesting while shedding tears of joy. The tears that you've been shedding as you pour, as you plan, as you bring your sacrifices here, you shall be changed to tears of, of joy. In Jesus' mighty name, that to your neighbor, and you shall celebrate. And be a Jinan who can celebrate. That to another neighbor, tell your neighbor, you shall celebrate. Shall celebrate. Shall celebrate. Now you are crying. But tomorrow I see celebration. Now you are asking, oh, how do I put my things together after I give this? But after the end of this sermon, they should continue sowing in tears. Soon and very soon you shall harvest. And in the harvest you shall shed an, another kind of tears. Not tears of painfulness, but tears of joy. In Jesus' mighty name. That is your portion. If you believe it's not in man. We must have a zeke. Then who goes Then who goes sowing? Then who goes sowing? In tears, in tears, shall reap in joy. Shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping. He who continues. It is not a one-time thing. It is a continuous thing. He who goes continually weeping, weeping, bearing seed for sowing, bearing seeds for sowing. So sowing is not for one Sunday. It is continually. It is this Sunday, next Sunday, Sunday, next Sunday, but one, next Sunday, but two. It is a continuous thing. It is not a one thing, a one time thing. Lima kada sheke teba kada sa. Somebody say amen. So if who goes sowing continually, shedding the tears of Bearing seed for sowing. Bearing seed for sow for sowing. Shall doubtless come again. Shall doubtlessly come again. Come again with rejoicing. With rejoicing. Bringing his sheep with him. Bringing his sheep with him. Oh God. Did you hear that? Continually. Continue. Don't get tired. You may not understand which seeds are going to be a benefit unto you. But it's no wonder in the book of preaching.